Harold Hamm is a billionaire. He's in the Shell oil business. Now, Shell oil has done very well for him, and he makes a ton of money off of it. And I'll get to that in a second. But it turns out he doesn't like competing energy sources. Not because they're competing, but because they're ugly. Interesting. He says, quote, I frankly don't like to see a wind turbine. He thinks the wind turbines are quite ugly. Well, let's actually, you know, he's got an interesting point. Let's show you a couple pictures of wind turbines. Uh, no, actually, that looks rather pretty. That's in the water. But OK, I guess some people could object. Uh, you know, there's sometimes they're on land. Again, you could have differing points of view on this. Those pictures seem lovely, but, uh, you know, if they're by your property, you might have a different issue. Now, here's one thing I know about oil, though. When you're getting oil out of, gr out of the ground, the contraptions you set up for that are gorgeous. They're not like those ugly wind turbines. Here, show me some oil rigs. Let's see how beautiful they are. Well, that is a very pleasant sunset. <laughs> You've got an oil rig there, but I've seen them on La Cienega, and they look more like that. Okay, well, they're all over LA and they're about as ugly as you could possibly imagine. Another nice sunset. Nonetheless, these are not the most beautiful, you know, contraptions you've ever seen. By the way, apparently every energy source has to be to have its picture taken at a sunset. <laughs> okay, so at best I can call that one even. Okay, but he's not biased here. Let's continue. He says about the turbines, once they're there, they haunt you. Now here's something the oil business would never do, is haunt you because of how they extract their energy source. Like for example, that sometimes they extracted, obviously they got the oil, and then they've got to go to refine it, and sometimes there's a spill. But images like this, well they would never haunt us. No, it's the wind turbines that haunt you. Not this or that or about a thousand other pictures we could show you that might actually haunt you. But, of course, Harold is not biased. He continues. That's your view shed, talking about the lovely view of his that they're ruining with those wind turbines. That's what you look at. All those things standing out in the distance, we have them all over Oklahoma, and it doesn't look very good. I frankly don't like it. Oh, okay. So no, it's, he just, he doesn't like the view, otherwise, you know, the fact that they're competing with him is not at all relevant. In fact, here's what Harold Hamm really doesn't like. If those wind turbines were to get any government subsidies, well, he's dead set against government subsidies, he's a Republican. In fact, he was one of the leading energy policy advisors for Mitt Romney. I love it, they just take the guys who bribed them, he's a huge Republican donor, and they make them policy advisors. And so uh, he's against government subsidies for all energy. Wait a minute. Turns out he's not against all energy subsidies. He's 100% in favor of oil subsidies. Now, wait a minute. The oil subsidies go to companies that are the richest companies in the world. So, Harold, how can you justify them? Quote, because we need them. I need them to refine our oil. <laughs> really? You absolutely need them, otherwise you'd be out of business. Now let me tell you how much her money Harold Hamm has. He has $11 billion. He's the 78th richest person in the world. Among the top 100 richest people in the world. I need my subsidies. Oh, those wind turbines and solar energy and all those new forms of energy who need the subsidies to stabilize themselves and establish an industry. No, 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 they don't need the subsidies. My industry that's over 100 years old, that has made me among the richest people in the world, I need the subsidies. But Harold wouldn't be a hypocrite at all. But don't worry, he's got a second idea for how to solve the energy and the climate change problem. Interesting that he believes in climate change, presumably given his statements about it. Well, he says, no, 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 oil and other energy, that's not the problem. So Harold, what's the problem? He says, quote, overpopulation, that probably hurts the environment more than anything. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what would you like to do about it, Harold? Quote, are we going to provide rules to stop overpopulating areas in Africa, Middle Eastern countries? Probably should. Huh. Interesting areas of the world that he happened to pick. So Harold Hamm, definitely against overpopulation. Do we really need that many Africans? Guys in the Middle East? Shouldn't we stop them from reproducing? Wow, I didn't know you had such a merciful uh, idea for 
how to address this issue. Okay, by the way, these are the same conservatives who are like, pro-life! Can you believe child's one, uh, China's one-child policy? Outrageous! How dare they? I mean, if we were to do that with the black people in Africa and brown people in the Middle East, that would kind of be awesome. Well, now, come on, Harold. You probably uh, think that it should be applied to the U.S. as well. And he says yes. He says, quote, should we uh, do it in the U.S.? Maybe we should think about that if we're truly concerned about it. Now, you think he's talking about himself? Of course not. In the U.S., my guess is, as he's sitting there collecting all the oil in the South, probably doesn't like a lot of Latino immigrants coming in with all their kids. Might be what he's talking about, given what the geography he laid out earlier. Okay. Now, how do, why do I say that? Is it fair to say it? Well, how about Harold Hamm? How concerned is he about overpopulation? He probably has no kids, right? I mean, if he's this concerned, he wouldn't have a kid. Don't tell me he's got a kid. Don't tell me he's got two kids. No, he doesn't. He has five kids. I didn't mean overpopulation by my kids. I meant overpopulation by your kids. I didn't mean you take away my subsidies. I meant you take away your subsidies. Harold Hamm, Republican donor in a nutshell.